Now at 10, was it an act of self-defense? A maintenance man shot and killed two teenagers who were beating him with a baseball bat. It's still not clear exactly what started it all. But police have a key piece of video that will help them sort things out. Charles Benson is live at 27th and Vleet with an update on this breaking news. Charles. Milwaukee police want to know what happened behind this door inside a stairwell that left two people dead and a maintenance worker in the hospital. Now, most of it was caught on camera. And tonight, a relative of one of the shooting victims stopped by to ask questions. We don't know what, what has transpired to cause this as of now. I don't. Joseph Hearns tells us the 19-year-old man who was killed in this apartment building was his nephew's son, and the 17-year-old was the teen's girlfriend. He has never done anything like this. So, you know, this is not his character. So it doesn't sound like him. Police say the two teenagers allegedly got into an argument that led to a fight with a 39-year-old maintenance man who was beaten with a bat. The maintenance man produced a handgun shooting the two. Police have eyewitnesses, but they're also hoping video will give them a clear picture of what happened. We do know that the, uh, the maintenance man did sustain injuries and we did capture the assault on him on video. Um, the uh, video also captured the shooting. Friends described the maintenance man as a good guy. He was taken to the hospital with head injuries, but is expected to be okay. As for Hearns, he returned to the scene for one reason. Just to find out what happened. Now, it will be up to the district attorney's office to decide if what happened here was an act of self-defense. They'll be able to look at the video and talk to eyewitnesses. A third person on the scene involved in the argument was taken into custody. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett was also here tonight talking about the shooting. We're live at 27th and Belize. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Yeah, perhaps more answers tomorrow. Thank you, Charles.